Octavius, known to us as Octavian. He was the adopted son of Julius Caesar, and in 27 BC, he received the title of Augustus from the Roman Senate. In his collective biography, called The Twelve Caesars, the Roman historian Gaius Suetonius Tranquillus described the house of the first Roman emperor with the following words. His first house stood close to the Roman Forum. Later, he moved to the Palatine Hill, to a house that had belonged to Hortensius, even though it was neither bigger nor more elegant than his first house. There, he slept in the same bedroom during winter and summer for more than 40 years. The history of Octavian's residence begins in about 40 BC, when he purchased a house that was spread over several levels on the slope of the hill. The house had been the property of the consul Quintus Hortensius Hortulus. of a 
Apollo was appropriately placed at the center of the palace sanctuary, which included the new private house of Augustus to the west and the public part of the residence to the east, which was connected to the cult of Vesta, the goddess of the hearth and home. The new residence of Augustus thus assumed the characteristics of a monarch's sacred palace. The buildings of later emperors The tablina was characterized by more elaborate decorative designs, both as regards the walls as well as the floors. Today, the preparative groundwork is all that's left of the geometric flooring made with finely cut marble or stone. In fact, the precious slabs were stripped away before the rooms were filled with earth and debris. Now continue. 
continue along the route, which leads to the so-called Room of Perspectives. in front of you, but you can explore inside, okay. don't you worry. Thank you. Space 
in which we find all the decorative elements of the other rooms in the house, arranged according to a less traditional layout.